to sing jingle bells and I said we're go I said we're going to sing jingle bells and when I say we're going to sing jingle bells we're going to sing jingle bells now what do you say to that jingle bells jingle bells jingle fine the hall. oh come on come, okay lamb Trap, as a special Christmas present to you I will sing your song ah and Sherry, as a Christmas present to you. Yes. We both will sing my song. Hit it. I'm singing Jingle Bells. I'm singing Deck the Halls. Well, good luck. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Deck the Halls with bows of holly. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Here's the season to be jolly. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Da, 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 da. La 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 la
real honest to goodness treat for all of us and thank you so much. <laughs> only number one, only the best in the business. And I, I understand that we have some uh, spies that have checked the crowd. We have the pleasure to have met some of them over the years. I used to be a disc jerky, jockey for years here in Washington. And always it was a treat to have a special 15 minute segment of Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis is not only a good looking guy, he is not only one of America's brightest performers, he is one of the most talented people that we have ever had here at the pageant. It's the most wonderful time of the year. The cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost sniffing at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season right. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering the simple phrase Kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really knows. It's from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said 
many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. Once again, Eastern High School, Johnny Mathis, and Jim Gandulian. Where's Jim? Jim was a conductor, our guest conductor of the Navy Band. Take a bow, Jim. They love you. Thank you so much. So many good things, so many nice things happening, and the weather is held off. Santa's a little sad this year. If you excuse me for a personal comment, because poor Santa is losing a dear friend. Gordon Barnes is retiring. Now Santa doesn't know where he's going to get his weather forecast from anymore. I'll have to find a new pigeon. But the other thing I want to announce is that remember, as you sit here, since 1923, Calvin Coolidge did not choose to run, but Calvin Coolidge was the first president to light the tree, and the same light bulbs, ladies and gentlemen, since 1923 are on that tree, and they are General Electric light bulbs. And don't you forget it because Santa Claus traded in Little Nipper two years ago for a GE toaster, and I want my money back. <laughs> Everybody's, I'm killing a minute. They said you have to kill a minute. This is the more serious part of the program, and I think the most beautiful part of the program. We will get to see Joe Riley. We will get to see President and Mrs. Reagan, and of course, along with that, the magnificent tree, and then you will be the stars as we carol. So let me be among the first to wish you a Merry Christmas and to reintroduce to you again America's secret weapon, our own beloved little Joe Riley. Isn't he the greatest? Ladies and gentlemen, the tradition continues as the 40th President of the United States gives his Christmas message to the nation and lights the nation's Christmas tree. As you light the tree for your last time, Mr. President, a grateful nation wishes for you and Mrs. Reagan many years filled with good health and an abundance of the Lord's richest blessings. The President will light the tree from the balcony at the White House and you should direct your attention to the large screen to my right. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Merry Christmas, Mr. President. Merry Christmas, Joe, and a very Merry Christmas to all. Brought the Christ child to us and reflection on the great gifts he has bestowed upon us. Christmas casts its glow upon us as it does every year, and it reminds us that we need not feel lonely because we are loved, loved with the greatest love there has ever been or ever will be. In the bustle and rush of daily life, we sometimes forget how very much we have and how much we have to thank God for providing, for things as beautiful as a winter snow or babies who will be seeing their we need to know about caring for our fellow man and to take responsibility for the very condition of the world. Thus, we must reflect, we must ever reflect upon the love we have for others and the joy we take from an experience it is to have done it. We Americans live with bounties that those who lived at the time of the Christ child's birth could never have imagined. The bounties are material, yes, but chiefly they are spiritual. Those who would worship the birth of our Lord may do so in the church of their choosing and in the way of their choosing. Those among us who do not so celebrate the birth are free to share with us in this our time of joy. In this day when our freedom to worship is most precious, let us redouble our efforts to bring this and other greatest freedoms to all the peoples of the earth. May we give thanks for a free America 
and America united in the wonder of a season that includes not only Christmas, but Hanukkah as well. And as we light this glorious tree, may Nancy and I offer a final wish to all Americans that every Christmas that follows will be as full of joy as we have these past years to work in your service. May God bless you all. And now Nancy will help me light the tree. And again, a very Merry Christmas. This is the most joyous time of the year, and especially this year, I think we have even more to be thankful for than we have for many years past. It looks like maybe a good shot at peace on earth. How sweet it is. Merry Christmas.